Hi guys, so um, everyone has been asking for a video about how to do your HCG trigger shot. Uh, so that's what this is for today. Now, the reason why I never did a video was because the shot is so important and we dose people out differently that we always just taught you in the office. So just in case you forget anything, you can come back to this video. Um, but like I said, we will be super specific in what your trigger shot is and what time you're doing it and how to do it. Um, generally, you will either have a box with a nice little rainbow on it called Pregnal, or you'll have a box that says Chorionic Gonadotropin. This is just the generic form. There's a third box also called Navaril. Um, either way, on the box, it should say 10,000 units somewhere on it, okay? Um, so you could have either one of these or sometimes insurance companies won't pay for these, but they'll pay for an Avadrol, and you should have two of these. These would be in your refrigerator. Um, I'll go over the Avadrol first because it's the easiest. So it comes as a pre-filled syringe. So all you're gonna be doing at the time of your injection um, is pulling both of your Avadrols out and you can prepare them ahead of time um, so that when it's time for your exact trigger shot, you just get them in, okay? So all of your trigger shots are just like your IVF medications, they're going subcutaneously. So in the same place as you've been doing your IVF medications. With the Avadrill, um, if you've been taking Ganarelix, it's basically the same thing. It's a pre-filled syringe um, with a certain amount of fluid in it. All you're gonna be doing is taking the safety cap off. Um, and then just like the Ganarelix, if you use it, you'd be pulling back a little bit just to release the pressure. And then just like your Menopur or the Ganarelix, you're gonna be pushing up slowly till you get your own beta fluid at the tip of the needle. Um, so if you have two Avadrils as your trigger shot, at your specific trigger shot time, all you're going to be doing is just like your IVF medications, wiping off the skin, letting the alcohol dry. Same thing, pinching and either going straight in or in at an angle and injecting the full amount of the fluid that's in here. Um, so that's the Avadrill if that is your trigger shot. Again, um, generally you would get two of these, but we may change your dose to only one. Um, so that's for Avadrill. If you happen to be an HCG 10,000 unit trigger shot. Now, this comes, like I said, in either one of these two. Either way, when you open this, it has two vials, just like the Menopure. It'll have a vial with powder that will say chorionic gonadotropin on it, and then it'll have a vial with fluid. Now there is 10 cc's of fluid in here. Depending on what your dose is, you, we will tell you how much you're gonna draw out of this. So for instance, we will go over this one by one. So you will have a syringe either in a pink wrapper or in a yellow. Um, the difference on that is that this is an 18 gauge needle attached to it and this is a 20 gauge. So that doesn't matter. This is only just used for drawing up the medicine. So this syringe with this large long needle in it is not going into your body. This is just for mixing the medicine. Uh, because the tops don't match, you can't use a Q-cap on them, okay? So if you're a full dose of HCG, all you're gonna be doing is taking the syringe and drawing up one cc of air. You're gonna take that air, you're gonna go into the fluid vial, you're gonna inject the air in, and you're gonna draw out a little bit past one. If there's any air bubbles, you can give it a little tick and then you're gonna push up to the one cc. This is if you're a full dose, okay? You're gonna take that needle into the powder vial. You're gonna inject it all in, just like the Menopure. You're gonna swirl it a little bit. This one takes a little bit longer to break down. You might see little white chunks. Just continue to give it a little swirl. Once you go to draw this medicine out, it has a rubber stopper here, but it breaks for a little window. So you wanna bring your needle tip so that you see it down in this window, okay? Um, if there's any air in the syringe, you're gonna push that in and then you're gonna draw everything out of it that you can. You're not gonna get every last drop because the water sticks inside here, okay? So once you have all the medicine in here, you're going to recap this needle carefully. You're gonna twist this one off and then you're gonna take one of your small Menopure needles. Okay, you're gonna twist that one on. If there's any air bubbles, you could give it a little tick. Just always remember to pull back first. You're gonna take the safety off. And then just like the Menopure, you're just gonna push up slowly till you get your own bead of fluid at the tip of the needle. Now this medicine, we have you mix a half hour before it's due. 
um, just so that at your trigger shot time, the only thing you're doing is taking, you know, cleaning your skin, taking the cap off and injecting it in. Um, so basically after you're done mixing it and you prime the needle, you're just gonna recap it and put it somewhere safe, okay? If you're um, a little bit less of this medication, if you're a half dose, a fourth dose, a fifth, a sixth, we will go over those instructions with you, but that means that you would be drawing out more fluid um, to mix, so you're diluting it more, but you're still only gonna be drawing out one cc to inject. Um, so again, like I said, we will be super specific in your instructions. If you're a full dose, if you're a half dose, or anything less than that, um, but just so you're aware of how to mix it, that is how you mix it. Um, I will send you home with a paper that will say on it half dose or full dose or you know one of the other kinds. Um, and then also we will send you home with an instruction sheet that says egg retrieval on it and it'll go over your instructions. But again, like I said, we are always super specific in your instructions and we will always let you know exactly what you're doing and how much of the medicine you're taking. If you have any questions, always ask us. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Talk to you soon. Bye.